up, Ted. How are we doing there, Ted? Live, ready to roll? I can't hear myself in the, uh, in the ear phone, but have we got volume? I saw on the parent jackets earlier, the coaching team, the coaching staff jackets, and your Oakland Bears, live from the beautiful facilities here at the University of Utah campus, UU, built for the 2002 Salt Lake City Olympics, where many will remember uh, Canada getting a 50-year monkey off its back, which uh, finally bringing home a gold medal in Olympic hockey again. Men's and women's, I believe it was that year. Okay. No, it was <laughs> some of us, some of us remember sending the family out for a long walk, <laughs> just sitting with the dog to watch that. Game. Anyway, I don't. I'm not hearing it in my ear. All right, so we are at Steiner West here on the UU campus. And as I say, a beautiful facility here, twin rings. There's a smaller, uh, there's a, uh, a smaller sheet in terms of seating capacity. started. Tommy's gone to center between Aaron and Phil, it looks like. Draws one back by the Bears. Nikita, returned from a long time on the DL, gets the puck up boards to Aaron. It goes through Phil on the far side. He dips his toe in, but it's turned back out by Team Wyoming. Goes back to, looks like Roy there, starting with Nikita as the D pair. Tommy circles back. Nikita plays it off the boards. Nice pass up to Aaron. She goes down the right side into the zone. Puck is played down into the corner. 24 for Wyoming. Sends it around. 
But Roy is there to cut that off, sends it back in behind the net. There's no pressure from the Bears. And the Wyoming captain brings it out, reverses, fills in on the attack, deflects the puck away. Held in by Nikita. Tommy's got it in the slot. Backhand pass to Phil, but it's, loses a handle, and Wyoming takes it the other way. Aaron is onto the ice to play that one back out away from the zone. Again, now Aaron comes off. Puck goes down behind the net in the Wyoming zone. They regroup. Bears are on a full chain. Puck comes out. Milo Shook is on the ice. At center ice, he deflects the puck to the middle towards Carter. Now my, up the gut is Quinn, but the defense manages to play that from behind. He was almost away. Scramble in the neutral zone. Aaron tries to play it to Milo, but it goes off the skate. Now Aaron plays the body on the boards. 50 gets through into the corner, sends it in front. Pass connects, but the Bears' defense gets the puck to the hash. Clears it out over the blue line. Carter's up there pressing. And Milo has the puck now. Takes it into his own zone in front of his net. Turns, looks, fires across, hits Quinn on the tape. Quinn gets it up to Carter. He crosses into the zone. Nice move, pulls it back, gets a shot on. It turns out to be a weak shot with the D on him. But he's got the puck behind the net. Battles there with the D. Wyoming brings it up the hash. Aaron pinches, but can't hold the puck in. And Justin does well to cover up. Send the puck across. The Bears are on a change again. Tommy comes onto the ice for Carter. Looks like it's Tommy and Carter at center at this juncture. At the ice in the neutral zone. Wyoming just dumps it in in the Tommy challenge. Here's the breakout up to Justin at the hash. He plays it to center ice for Tommy, but too far. Nikita's back into his zone to pick up the puck behind his net. He hesitates, fans. Wyoming gets an early shot. Nice, Kyle is in the game. That was a bad exchange by the Bears behind the net and a good scoring chance. Best one of the game so far for Wyoming. And Kyle was equal to the task. Flashes the pad, we're good. 11 for Wyoming behind the net. Gets it to 16, where Tommy takes it away. Goes behind Aaron and sends it down into the corner where he follows up his own dump. Justin's in the corner there. And it's to the point, not held in though. Could have been an offside, but not. And it's one on one for 11. The shot comes, looks a little dangerous there, but Nikita's got that now and gets it to Roy behind the net. He sends it to the hash, there's no one there, but it rolls harmlessly into the neutral zone, where it's picked up Wyoming, by Wyoming, and they turn. It's to White, number 50, he crosses into the Bears zone. He's got a teammate going to the slot, but the pass doesn't go through, rejected there by Nikita. Carter's back on the ice now, and that's a dangerous pass, ill-advised. Picked off, but the shot is denied. There goes Carter away. Nice stretch pass from Roy, or from uh, Phil, rather. Carter battles in the corner. Gets a puck to the front of the net. Tipped towards the net, but not on. Nifty little play there. Aaron comes down from the point, sends the puck through the crease. Carter goes to pick it up. Oh, not a great decision there on D from Nolan, but... Oh, and that one goes through for a goal. Okay. Early, some early jitters here, but I'd have to say it looks, it looks like we're going to have a decent game here. Just an uh, early breakdown there, but with uh, still almost nine minutes to play in the first period, one nothing Team Wyoming. And now we got Tommy come to the ice with looks like Justin and Milo on the wing. Nolan gathers the puck, looks it forward into the zone. It's sent back up by Wyoming to the neutral zone where Nolan has it again. Tommy delivers a hit, takes the puck, and Milo's ahead, rejected by the D. Good work by the Wyoming defense. Tommy takes the puck at center ice zone, blows into the zone. Moves, shoots. Ooh, his top shot was tipped just wide. Milo picks up the puck and he fires. Milo will shoot from anywhere. And Moved it right there. Aaron does a nice job to hold that puck in. It comes up to Tommy. Just outside the blue line, he dumps it back in. And Wyoming's away. Crossing into the zone, turning. Deflected shot goes wide. 
blade to the hash, to the hash marks there by Aaron. He follows it up. Now Tommy goes behind, plays the puck carrier. Still on him. Delivers a hit. The puck comes to the right point. They scramble at the circle on that side. And then finally Tommy sends the puck out. This could go for racing. And it will. Bears want to change. That was just a defensive posture right there. Tab, do you think we have audio? I think so. I can't get... We haven't been at home watching. It's okay. It's just as well if I'm speaking to myself. It's for sure going into the camera. That's for sure. Full change here now from the Bears. I noticed the Wyoming bench very short. Wyoming with just nine skaters here tonight and their goaltender. They control the puck, however, in the bear zone. Roy goes for the hit. Wyoming turns away. Nice pass, pass, pass back to the point. Bill went for the steal there. Not quite successful, but he close. Now he's up at center ice. And the pass comes. He picks it up, and he's one-on-one. -on -one. He's dumped as he crosses the blue line. That's a good play by the defense for Team Wyoming. And Aaron with some pressure. Nikita picks the puck up, circles away from the pressure. Stops behind his net and reverses to Aaron. Aaron picks up the puck, hits the blue line, chips it up to Phil Royal. He sends it back to the D. Nikita, skates ahead. Cross center ice. He's got Carter. Carter backhands it into the corner, and the Bears going to change. All right. On come Tommy, Justin, and Quinn. Wyoming rolls the puck down to Aaron. He backs away, gets it to Aaron on other Aaron on the boards. Now it's back to Aaron behind the net. Stolen there by Wyoming. They pass in the corner. Now back to the point. One timer's attempted, but it goes through. Justin Kim is off to the races. He's got Quinn in front. Justin gets there, as you would expect, with his fast skating. Tommy is unable to foul the puck in the corner, but it's held in by the D. Goes to Wyoming, however, and they flip it out to center ice. That's tricky there. Aaron does well. And it's just offside on Wyoming there as their player almost on a break. Aaron did well to keep control of that puck and escape and prevent the breakaway. So, a little jittery early here, especially for the Bears. Carter to take the draw. He wins it back. D to D from Aaron. And from the neutral zone, Wyoming backhands it down to the corner. Nolan picks up that puck, sends it to his new partner, Aaron. Gets it back to Nolan, takes a look, and it's a nice breakout. Oh, should have been a nice breakout, but now it's a turnover. Wyoming in, shoot, shot save. Nice save by Kyle. Oh, but the rebound is there, and they caught one. So Wyoming off to a great early start here. I would otherwise have to say the Bears have some opportunities, have had some opportunities need to convert here. They certainly can stay with this Wyoming team. So, 2-0, Team Wyoming, 5.36 remaining in the first period. Phil is out now to center a line between Milo and Carter. Wyoming wins the draw, back goes deep in their zone in the corner. Milo's down to press, but Wyoming gets it up to the hash. Not out, though. And Phil is there. He's got the puck. Dumps into the corner. Milo's got it. He heads towards the net. Pulls to the front. Tries to go short side. Now picked up by Milo again. Sends it to the front. Carter's there. And the stick was lifted just as he tried to shoot the puck. Nice play by the D. That's iced. And we'll have a faceoff back down in the Wyoming zone. Bears on the change. Out come Tommy. Justin and Aaron McGlynn. Got Aaron and Nolan Kajil on the point. Tommy takes the draw into the corner. Keeps up Wyoming there. They bears into the corner. They don't have as much jump as I might expect to right now. They definitely are in this game. Nolan picks up the puck, sends it to Tommy in the slot. He's, well, the puck is taken there, and not out, though, for the moment, but now out. Picked up at center ice by 50, puts a move on Nolan, but Tommy is there, chips it over to Aaron. Puck is out, and Tommy's got it at center ice. 
He rushes forward one on two. Goes around to his right. He's sent to the corner. Yeah, and it, he takes it away there. It's up to the blue line and out. Nolan battles with 12 for Wyoming. He's played to Aaron McGlynn. Nolan picks it up and skates forward. Off the skate and down into the Wyoming zone. But now they break up. Picked off by Aaron. That's that attempted breakout pass, and Aaron holds his own for the moment. And now it's sent back to Quinn, who is covering for Aaron. Dump down in. And fills in on the four check with Quinn. Aggressive four check from the Bears. There's a hit delivered by Aaron in the center to separate his man from the puck. Peter picks up the puck, turns behind his net, turns again, but he falls, and Wyoming's got the puck. He sent it in front. Tipped away by Kyle, however, to Nolan. And beautiful pass by Nolan. The center ice hits Quinn. The shot, it's a good shot, and gloved down by the Wyoming goaltender. Nice breakout play and, and scoring attempt there by Quinn. Quinn and Nolan combining. All right. So the change, Milo comes to the ice. Phil will take the draw between Milo and stays on the ice. It's back to Nikita at the point. He fires it. And it's blocked down in front by Wyoming. Milo fires it now. And that was either that was deflected behind the net where Quinn has it in the corner. He's one on two. No, two on two. Milo comes in to help and he comes away with the puck. Goes between his own legs to reverse, but it's taken over by the Wyoming D. They swing it around. And 13 for Wyoming picks it up at the far blue line, sends it to center ice. It goes into the Bears zone. The D hesitate, it doesn't come out, even though they briefly had the puck. Milo's got it in the corner. He shoots it ahead for Quinn. Takes it up to center ice and he's off. He's got Phil in the middle. Phil follows, there's no one going to the front of the net. And Quinn and Milo are in the corner, but the Wyoming player skates away. He's going end to end here. Sends a pass to the middle. There are two Wyoming players and only one bear defenseman. And now Phil succeeds in stealing the puck. He's skating up the left side, moves to center. And now he's up the right side, he's into the zone. He dumps it in behind the net. Bears are on a change, so there's no one there. Until now Carter joins him, and it's Justin and Carter. Justin has the puck in the corner. He's ridden down there, the puck's underneath Justin. Comes out, and Carter's got the puck. Tommy is on as well, hits his man. Tommy comes away with the puck, nifty stick handle, shoots and he shoots it over the bar. <clears throat> I'd like to have that one back again. So, Bears remain scoreless, 158 remaining in the first period. Looks of consternation from the Bears' parents. We'll go over and talk to Larry and Kevin at the intermission. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save Mark for later. All right, there's some discussion amongst the officials here. Could be a mouth guard issue, maybe, I'm not sure. And here we go, might have been the puck. All right, so Tommy lifted that one out. It's, there was no deflection, so the puck comes outside the blue line. Draws one forward to Justin, but now it's reversed and comes back to the Bears' D. It's flipped into center ice. From the neutral zone, Justin picks it up, but Carter was offside, not thinking the puck was going to come into the zone. He was about to turn and go. So just uh, it's unfortunate. Some, some calls of encouragement from the stands. That may have been Mark Clayman. <clears throat> Kevin with his piece, demonstrating his PCA training. All right, off the draw. The Bears send it down into the corner. There's not much Bears forecheck here. Maybe the, uh, the moderate altitude could have something to do with the, uh, the forecheck. Yeah, or the, or the jet lag, as Larry points out. Could, could, be a, could be many factors at play. Nevertheless, Wyoming is forced to ice the puck, and we'll have a faceoff back down in the Wyoming zone to the right of the Wyoming goaltender. Phil Royals have to take the draw between Aaron McGlynn and Quinn Flamer. They go to the dot. Quinn wins it clean to the D. 
where it's played by Roy into the corner. Quinn goes to work. Bill's there to help. Quinn maintains the puck, sends it into the corner again where he pursues. Wyoming D takes it. They try to send it out, but it's to, it's to uh, Nikita at the point. Try to get Nikita remembering Nikita's name after uh, his long absence on IR. Nikita plays it up to Aaron. It comes to point at center ice. He fires it from there wide of the net. It's deep in the zone. 50 picks it up behind the net. Turns. 54 seconds remaining in the period. And there was a man long. He makes the turn, even though that look is over to be picked off. Puts played up into the mesh and will have a face off in the bare zone to the right of Kyle. How you doing? Good. You got it, you Wyoming? No. All right, face off in the zone. Tommy's out to take the draw. He's got Carter on the left. He wins it back to Aaron. Aaron falls with the puck. Tommy's here to flex the puck back down behind the net. Aaron sends it up to Milo. Coming up the left side. He sends it to center ice for Carter. Carter leaves it for Tommy, but it doesn't. Goes a little too far to the D, and they send it back. With 30 seconds remaining. Nolan tries to get that puck through. Goes back to Aaron. He sends it across to Milo, who tips it into the Wyoming zone. But with 16 seconds remaining, looks like the Bears are going to need to regroup at the period. 10-11, Milo's in. Wyoming brings it back out, though. To center ice, six seconds. Comes to Aaron just inside the blue line. Two, one, and we go to the first intermission. So after one, we've got uh, Team Wyoming jumping out to a 2-0 lead early. Right. Uh, Larry reminds me that we need to, for our, uh, our viewers at home, we need to to announce attendance. Uh, I, I look around and I, I, there's a healthy Bears crowd on, on this side of the arena. I count, oh, oh there got to be four or five dozen people over here, plus... Uh, I'd say two or three hundred on the other side, so I'll go with the attendance for three hundred uh, for this game at present. Although I understand that they're still selling tickets out front, so that could still go well. Tag your thoughts on the first period. Network problems. Network network issues. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm switching to the other network. <laughs> yeah, some people are getting it, some people aren't. But, um, our, apparently we've got some problems with our national viewing audience that uh, my partner in crime tag Kazoo will no doubt deal with momentarily. Yeah. Ken Kim is deeply immersed in, uh, he must be looking at first period highlights on his phone. And yeah, for the Bears, I would say the highlight came with the... Uh, well, if they, if they did, if, if we had one, we could. I'd have to say the first period highlight for the Bears was the uh, breakout from Nolan to, uh, to, to Quinn. And with a slick wrister that was under the bar, but gloved by the, uh, the Wyoming goaltender. Let's we'll see if we have any luck going the other way here. So, looked like a... A serious but not terribly animated talk at the Bears bench between periods. It's a Tom regroup. And uh, Eric, the consummate line juggler, now sends out Roy between Carter and Quinn. Wyoming brings it down the left side. Carter gets a stick up there to tip it into the corner and he takes his man into the end boards. Wyoming has it there, though, and sends it to the front dangerously. Carter sends it up the middle, and it's out. Bill picks it up on the boards there. He had Quinn up ahead. But he's in coverage for Team Wyoming. Nice play to get their uh, sentiment free at the center. Now Tommy's pass is picked off, and Wyoming goes in two on two. Three on three, 12 in the corner. Sends it towards the front. It's picked off there by Tommy. The bobbling puck goes, bounces to the front. Again, now it's sent up the middle and out. <clears throat> Wyoming will regroup and send it down to 13, who just sends it down in the right corner. It's retrieved there at the hash. 
by Phil. No, Roy rather sends it ahead and Quinn is away. Bears have three skaters up ice. Quinn sends it on ice. Tommy picks it up with the left hash, sends it down into the corner, where it's retrieved by the D. They swing it up to the point where Roy's got it, plays it with the skate to hold it in, sends it back in behind. Justin could get there first. He does, but 36 comes away. Tommy goes to help, as does Milo. Milo's got the puck, sends it to Tommy in the corner. From Tommy out to Milo in front, it goes on Milo's skate towards the net, but not on, and it's out by Wyoming. 12 brings it up to the left side, across the center ice, and sends it deep. It's picked up there by Nolan. Got a spring and a step, and he sends it up the middle, up to Milo. Good pass. Milo tries to shift to the middle track, and that goes nowhere. Now the attempted pass up to Tommy is rejected and sent back down deep in the barrel zone. Aaron plays it there, up to the hash where Nolan finishes the job and sends it into the Wyoming zone. Milo is up, not hard on the four check. Wyoming reverses it down, it goes all the way down to Aaron at D. Ships it off the boards, looking for Nolan. He's got Milo at left. Milo goes up the left side, beats his man, but he can't catch up with the puck in the zone. And then Wyoming takes over again. Bears need a spark here. In the zone, Wyoming's got the puck in the left corner now. Aaron goes in physically, but Wyoming continues to hold the puck. Aaron McGlynn's in physically. Wyoming sends it back to the point. Here goes Carter up the back. He could get to this puck. The Wyoming goal comes out, ties with Carter to go to the net. Carter drops his stick. Goal's got the puck now. Goalie's just now back to the net. Shot is blocked. Carter sends it back to the point. Aaron McGlynn picks it up. Nolan is there, holds the puck in. Carter's got it. Nice play by Nolan. Carter spins, fires a puck wide right and high. There's a mouth guard down now on the ice. Aaron picks up the puck at the hash. No can't hold it in. It's to Nolan at center ice. He backhands it back down into the zone. There's some two mouth guards on the ice. And it comes to Nolan at center. He moves forward. Puck is tipped off his stick to the left boards. Back to the Wyoming D. They're looking for that stretch pass, and they've been getting it a lot. Now, Nikita's up. Getting his legs, he's into the zone, sends it in front, looking for Quinn, that's rejected. Nikita comes back, but it's now a breakaway for Wyoming, and they finish the job. I don't know if that went over the pad or through the wickets, but it's Wyoming 3 up now, 9-21 in the second period of the meeting. And the Bears need to regroup in the biggest kind of way at the moment. Out come Tommy, Justin, and Quinn. Quinn looks to the stars. The star grabs for inspiration. Tommy to take the draw. Off the draw, it's back to the Bears' D. Quinn has got it on the right. Back down into the Bears' corner where, left corner, where Aaron takes the puck. He puts on the brakes, but he's stripped of the puck. Pucks in the front. An attempt high goes wide by Wyoming. The puck sent high. Tommy plays it ahead to himself. It's going to go too far. There are no ice and waved off. And Tommy's in on the four check. There are two players in the four check. Justin is there too. The puck comes back to the D, sent towards the front, down into the left corner. And Wyoming picks it up there. There's not a lot of jump here right now. Wyoming, 16, moves it ahead. Crosses the blue, that was almost offside. Dragged the foot to hold it on the onside. Tommy picks up the pass, circles back and takes a look. He sends it up to Milo at center ice. And Milo's got one man to beat. And he's checked off the puck, looking for his shot. Justin's up to pick up the puck, sends it behind to Milo. Back to the point, it's picked off by 11 who just scored the goal. And he moves away, sends a pass up to his teammate, 50. Comes down in the corner where Nolan has it, however. Picks a nice play by Nolan up to Tommy, and Milo's there to skate it away. Milo moves up, uh, up the ice. He's got one to beat. Winds up the slapper. It's blocked into the corner. Looks for his own rebound. In front now. Tommy comes to the front with Justin the puck in the corner. Comes to the point. Nikita lets go. 
puck goes wide in the right corner. Where it's, oh, Roy pinched in, but the Zamboni gate stripped him of the puck. Up comes Wyoming, but Carter does well to hold the puck in. Moves in, oh, looks to shoot, but he had Justin wide open on the far post. They go back the other way, 11 gets it at center and chips it into the zone. Nikita picks up the puck, goes behind his own net, looking, 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 puts on the brakes. He goes, nice play to Roy, who sends it up. Nice play up to Phil, couldn't field it cleanly. And Phil takes the puck into the corner. The pass in front to Carter goes behind the net, attempted pass. Carter picks the puck up in the corner, makes a move on his man, it's number eight. He's got some help there from Phil. Phil circles towards the net, goes to the slot. He's got on his backhand. It's deflected up towards the point, but not out. Now Wyoming gets it down near the hash, though, and they send it back through the middle and out. Up to center ice, the pass misses the puck to Nikita, sent to center ice again, but Wyoming is able to dump it back down. And really, they don't need to do too much with the 3 0 lead here right now. Nikita backhands it up towards Aaron. Defense pinches down to hold it in. 11 has it in the corner. Nikita meets him there. He bodies him in the corner. They work in the corner. 11 still has it. 13's in front dangerously. Puck comes to the front, but there the Bears are away. It's Nikita lugging the puck up ice. He sends it across to Carter. Shoots. Save there. Nice save by the Wyoming goaltender. Carter starting to throw the body here a little bit. Better be careful it's not too late. 12 enters the zone at the other end for Wyoming. Pass comes back. It's Roy Lowe. 12 has the puck behind the net. It's dumped off, and... Nikita has it there. He sends it to Aaron McGlynn at the top of the right of the zone. It's up to Tommy at center ice. He's one-on-one, -on -one, moves to the slot, shoots, pad save. Tommy picks up the puck on the left hash. He circles. It's played to center ice. So it tipped off his puck and smartly dumped down there by... No, it's not. That he's too deep, and that's going to be an ice. Got some debris on the ice. Aaron's going to take a look at that. He plays it out there to the linesman. That takes care of. All right, Tommy stays out there. Quinn is out. Nolan is on D with Aaron. And Milo is the other winger. The wingers need to figure out sides here. to the boards, but there's no winger there, so it comes to Nolan. At any rate, it's up to Tommy. They're up working on that left side, and it's out in the, to the neutral zone, down into Wyoming territory, and far enough for an ice. 5.26 remaining, second period, 3 nothing in Wyoming over yours and Bear. Todd, how's the broadcast now? Oh, yeah, a little choppy. Got the, some choppiness with the broadcast, according to... Uh, uh, Intrepid cameraman, producer, director, catch as well. Tommy to take the draw, wins it again to the boards, goes to Nolan. They're Wyoming in front, that was dangerous. I don't know if Kyle got a piece of that, but the puck now is down into the right corner next to Kyle, and Milo picks it up behind the net. Dangerous stick handle in front of his own net, but he gets the puck up to Nolan, who plays it ahead for Quinn. Quinn's got the puck deep in the corner. He plays it back looking for Tommy, but he was on the boards and Tommy moved towards the net. In the circle, Tommy picks up the puck now. He's looking, looking, looking. And 11 comes back and just possesses him of the puck. It's held in, however, by Aaron. Played to center ice when 19 has a one-on-one -on -one with Nolan. He's doing something nifty with the skates, but doesn't fool Nolan and he takes it into the corner. Where he's met by three Bears players and still moves away. Behind the net, Nolan sends it to the corner, up to Quinn, it's back to the D though. Shot from the point, deflected in to the corner. And we may have our first penalty of the game. And it appears that this call is going against Nolan to deal. For one, I am not sure. We'll get the call here shortly. There's some discussion with the official. Nolan goes to the box. Two minutes for a rough fisticuffs oh, tag. Wow. Getting tough there this time. Maybe a little bit of frustration showing there, so the Bears' penalty kill is going to have to get the job done right now. 
I like the fact that they've got uh, Carter Leong out there on the penalty kill because sometimes Carter will, uh, will get away. The Bears could use that kind of lifter. Still, disrupting the Wyoming power play would go a long way at the moment. There's Phil lugging the puck up, and he's got Carter to help. So he's one on two, short hand. He gets the puck to Carter. There's going to be a shot here. No, just couldn't quite get there, and now they're too deep. they got to get back. Here comes Phil. It's two on two for Wyoming right now. Behind the back pass to 11. 11 seems to be the sharpshooter. We're going to look for him as the trigger man. He's the assistant for the alternate captain. we got 11 down in the corner, 12 in front. Alone in front at the moment. Carter is there. 12 in the Shot comes from, it was really a shot pass from the point. Picked off. Ah, oh, the Bears had a chance to clear it, and they don't. Backhand shot. Fielded, but not held. Oh, by Kyle, and that was a needless opportunity, but not resulting in a goal. Happened. Back to the point, sent towards the net, blocked into the corner. Picked up there by, that was a mouth guard came out, not the puck. So here we go, it's got, Roy Lee's got the puck. Again, we've got difficulty clearing the puck out of the zone, the simplest possible way. Now, get the puck out of the zone, and it's Phil, and he does. And he's got Carter off the boards. Carter's one-on-one -on -one here. He lets the little snapper, it's gloved down. Wasn't a, bad, uh, wasn't a bad play under the circumstances. 25 minutes remaining on the Bears penalty to Nolan Fazio. And the penalty killing unit now is going to be Aaron McGuinn, Justin Kim up top, with Nikita and Aaron on D. So Justin wins the draw forward into the corner. Wyoming controls there. Aaron does a good job to hold the puck at the blue line and then sends it back down to the Wyoming zone. They break out the other side, however, and enter the zone. Aaron McGlynn is there, Bobby's 12. Very calmly he turns and finds 16 coming down the wing. It's back to 36 at the point, to 16 at the hash. He moves into the circles, goes by two bears, backhand shot, Kyle saves that. Nikita the sends the puck to the length of the ice just as the penalty ends, and that will be an icing as a result. Puck comes back down. The Bears are running short on time here. 2 19 remaining in the second period. And there's, I, I see some head shakes in the, uh, among the Bears partisans. Off the draw, it's in the corner. Tommy picks up the puck there and he turns away from pressure. He hits Nolan on the wing. Nolan Cazillo breaks it out. Flips it up, and that's one for the fans. Nolan Cazillo always a fan favorite, and that demonstrates one of the reasons why right there. Souvenirs for the near capacity crowd here. You can see the kids are off to sprinting for that puck. It's down in the player tunnel. And the faceoff would be at center ice. Tommy between Justin and Aaron. Off the draw, Tommy's got it to Justin, but the puck goes to the deep. Now, two bears deep. Aaron hesitates, and the puck comes the other way while she was waiting for her teammates to get back on side. Behind the net, Nikita checks his man. Roy is checked. Busy, the puck rolls up to Justin. It's a battle on the boards. Comes away, 19 with it. He makes a move, strong move to the front. Kick save there from Kyle. That was a good play by Wyoming. Good, nice play by Kyle to make the save. Just this game is turning very sluggish. We got an elbow. It looks like an elbow to Justin Kim. And that'll be a Bears power play now as 13 goes to the box. I think that was an incidental elbow. Ken Kim with a look of concern. Um, but Justin appears to be just fine. Heads to the bench. All right, out comes the vaunted Bears power play. And unit one is going to see Phil between Carter and Milo. And goodness, the Bears need some jump here. Nolan's got the puck to start this off. Milo picks it up, turns, and he sends it up towards Carter. 
It's no ice, and Carter's he's not hard on the forecheck, and the puck goes the length of the ice. All right, Aaron picks up the puck down in the left corner, and he turns. Stops behind his own net, sends it to Nolan for the breakout on the left side, but that doesn't go through. It goes through Milo. It's the second Wyoming shot on this power on this penalty kill for them. Turned, sent towards Carter. It takes all day to get there. He gets towards Phil. Phil's gonna have a chance here now. Fires. It's a good save made by the team Wyoming goalie. They're gonna need to do better than that to beat him. He's proven up to the task so far. The Bears have had few shots, but that was one of the better opportunities so far. Out comes Tommy now to take Milo off. So we're gonna have Carter, Phil, and Tommy up front. Aaron and Nolan on the point. Off the draw. It's tied up and ultimately sent down the length of the ice by Team Wyoming. Aaron is back to pick it up. And Kyle. A little difficulty on the hand off there. Comes to Tommy at the hash. He turns to regroup behind his own net. Takes a look. Chips it up to Nolan at center ice. Nolan turns. He's separated from the puck there by the Wyoming captain. Oh, Bill goes in, but it looks like there's going to be a call against the Bears. It's going to be a hook. Is this going to go in it's Nolan again? All right, Nolan, understandably... Feeling the rest perhaps a little after a long, long layoff for that uh, broken collarbone suffered in preseason, if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly, Pat. And, uh, excited to get back in action tonight. His presence is being felt, but uh, that wasn't where he wanted it to be felt. Oh, Carter attempts to strip there, and it was a good try. We got nine seconds in the period. Carter, Carter again with the strip. Uh, but three seconds remaining. Eleven drops into the zone. That's a shot on right as the horn sounds. And that's a decent chance. So work to do. And for a little color now, we'll go to uh, Mark and Rosanna for some uh, for some commentary on on the play to date and some uh, some strategy tips for the third period. So, Rashawn, what, uh, what do you like about what you see up there so far? Not, not a lot going out to uh, the fans back in Alameda, California. So we're going to need to see a little more spark out of her boy to get some love from mom in the third period. I, I hesitate to ask Mark about the play of his son and Larry the play of his son. Uh, and I think we'll leave that for the postgame. Meanwhile, uh, Ken, how, uh, how, how do you think uh, Justin looked after that, uh, that elbow you took to the head? Right? So you're suggesting perhaps that the elbow may have actually helped matters. Right? <laughs> All right, Ken looking for a little uh, corporal punishment out there to get things rolling for the Bears. I think the... Uh, the Got the tones of doom coming down uh, from the ceiling here <laughs> at the beautiful, um, the beautiful Steiner Center here on the University of Utah campus. I mean, you can hardly be more inspired by the surroundings. And hopefully, the Bears will come up with something here in the third period to get something on the ledger for the the team in the black tonight. So. 13 minutes on the clock to start the third period. We got uh, five aside, four skaters each team to start the period with two players in the box. Player in the box for each team. There's going to be a minute of power play time for Team Wyoming uh, in about 30 seconds. Now, that's an attempt, clearing attempt from the key to ends up in front of the Bears net. Nifty pass there, picked off by Tommy, but it goes off Carter's skate. Tommy has it again, sends it ahead, and Nikita's up the right wing with this now. He sends it off the skate ahead, puts on the brakes, tries to gain control, looking for Tommy, but he couldn't find him. The puck comes back. This could be an icing, and it is. And we'll get a face-off down in the zone. There's five seconds remaining in the Wyoming penalty, so the Bears would do well to watch out for the player coming from the box here, even though they're on the attack down in the Wyoming zone. And... This broadcaster is going to hope to get the attention of the Bears to indicate that possibility.
off the draw. It's one forward there, and it's Phil Royal loses the puck. Here comes the man off the box. And again, as reported or speculated, the pass was intended for the man coming out of the box and just a little too far. So it goes for Nyson. And this time, the Bears are shorthanded back in the Wyoming zone. Really enjoying playing Team Wyoming. Hoping, had hoped for a better uh, effort from the Bears, or at least a better result. But truly, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of jump here tonight. And one has to wonder about that. We haven't had a game in several weeks. All right, Phil's out to take the draw, and it's won by Wyoming. Into the corner, here's the breakout, straight up the middle. 13 is in, on Nikita, skates by, sends the puck to the middle. It's turned there, though, by Aaron McGlynn, smartly up to Phil, who slams on the brakes to make a move at center ice and is dispossessed of the puck. It's off the linesman at the Bears' blue line, and now sent down into the corner by Wyoming. 12 is in on the forecheck, Aaron is there, wraps it hard to... Aaron at the hash. He gets away from her, and there's a shot from the point that's saved off Kyle's blocker. Aaron now has it, skates out from the boards, tries to play it up, but it's blocked down in the zone by Wyoming. Aaron takes her man to the boards. The shot comes from the point, just a weak wrister, and Kyle smothers this rebound after cleanly playing the puck. 11.33. And unless something happens here rather quickly, the facial expressions suggest to me that some of the guys could be walking back to the hotel after the game. Tommy wins the draw into the corner for Nikita. He one hands it up, but no, it's back for Wyoming. Hard on their sticks. They send it back to the point. The Bears are in the box. Tommy fronting his man, Brown. Wrist shot comes straight to Kyle's crest. He secures the puck, no rebound, and we'll do it again. Five seconds remaining on the Bears' penalty. And you know that Nolan Pazio is chomping at the bit to get back out on the ring. Now the Bears would do well to look for Nolan coming out of the box. They control the puck, no, it's back to 11. They don't want the puck on 11 stick. That was a nice attempted, attempt in front, and, but it went through the intended shooter. All full strength now for both teams, but Wyoming continues to control in the zone. Nikita goes and fronts his man. The puck goes behind the net. They're still not able to quite get organized enough to regain control, but Justin Kim has it now. Nope, back to Wyoming, behind the net, and here's Roy. He swings it around. There's no winger on the far side. Sent back on the other side, and Justin Kim is going to get there this time. He's got Nolan at center ice. Nolan picks up the puck. Off his skate, unfortunately. Sends it deep, though. A flick of disgust. And Tommy's in to get it deep behind the Wyoming net. He's on his backhand. He looks. He sends it towards the net, but it's deflected weakly, and Wyoming controls it again. Milo Schiff is on the ice. I have to say, Milo and now Tommy will show a little bit of jump now, too. But Milo has had a bit more jump than maybe the other skaters on the ice at times here. Now, here's a turnover. Justin has it. Tommy's in the slot. He's got the puck in the slot, move, backhand goes wide off the stick handle. It was a great opportunity, but the shot goes wide. Really need to finish some of these opportunities now. Beautiful play by Justin Kim to get Tommy the puck. Puck back in the bear zone, shot comes from the point. Shot comes from the point. Nice clean save from Kyle. He's slashed by the... Uh, Wyoming player, and there'll be a play, a penalty called on that play, so the Bears will have the power play here now. And they're gonna send out Phil, Milo. <clears throat> Tommy goes off, we got Quinn. Quinn, Milo, and Phil. The points manned by Aaron and Nolan. Off the draw, it's one cleanly back, but Phil straight to Aaron, chips it up, towards Quinn, but Quinn. Some encouragement called out by Mark, and the Bears regroup in their own zone. Aaron behind his net. He skates up the left side, gets it nipped nicely to Nolan there, gets a good shot, and it's gonna just take a lot more than that to beat this Wyoming goaltender who's been 
Hasn't been called on very often, but he's been up to the task every time. Out comes Carter. Carter and Justin to replace. Well, that's a full change from the Bears. Tommy is out there to take the draw this time between Carter and Justin. Nikita comes out on the point. Tommy ties up the draw, but being controlled by Wyoming, and they send it off the boards, and here they go the other way. 11, where you don't want the puck. Aaron is careful with him there. And, but, no, oh, yeah, 11 does the job on him. He's behind the net. Bears need to gain control of the puck on their own <coughs> power play here. Puck is stuck down by the Zamboni doors, and Tommy comes away with it. He's got Carter up on the right wing, and Justin on the left. Tommy sends it to Carter. As he reaches the blue line, Carter rifles a nice shot, head high. It's blocked down with the glove, but it's too hot to handle for the Wyoming goaltender. But out comes the puck. Center ice, D to D regroup. Up comes Aaron. Brings it towards the net. It's blocked, though, as he tries to send it to the net. Carter's got it behind, but Wyoming's going to take over here and send it the length of the ice. 43 seconds remaining on the Bears' power play. You'd have to think with 8.20 remaining to stand any chance, really, of coming back in this game. They need to produce them in this power play. 34 seconds remaining. This is going to go for an ice. Pass to Carter is well beyond him from Roy. And new personnel for the Bears. The scoreless Bears with 27 seconds remaining on the power play. 8.10 in the game and a free old hole. All right, Phil Royal to take the face off. Oop, the whistle off the draw. We got Milo is jumping perhaps, or Aaron. We're gonna toss Phil as a result. Milo will take the draw. Milo. Draws one. Now, that's a, that's a nice pass up to center ice. Goes to Phil Royal across the blue line. Works to the outside. Round the net. He sends it smartly back to the point to Aaron on a chip pass. Aaron sends it back to Phil. Phil back to Aaron. Slap shot comes. That's a good shot. As good a chance as the Bears have had. And Milo turns, spins, fires. It's gloved down by the, actually, by the Wyoming defenseman. He drops it in his feet, clears it away, and that's it for the Bears' power play. Nolan clears it out up to Milo at center ice. He turns back towards the D circles. He's got no one to pass to, so he stick handles behind around his man. But on the second man, he's dispossessed of the puck. Wyoming sends it down, and why not? Three goal lead. Nolan Pazil is there. Milo picks him, and Wyoming takes over. Now Nolan's got the puck again. They turn. There's no one up ice, so Nolan elects to go himself. At center ice, it comes to Phil. Yeah, can't crack the blue line. Sends it deep into the zone, but it's really harmlessly sent to the Wyoming defenseman. They alertly get it up to a man up ice, and here's 13. It's a foot race with Aaron. 13 wins the foot race, makes a nice move. 12's alone in the slot. Puck comes. I think Kyle got a piece of it. Either that or it was just wide left. A nice play by Wyoming again. The Bears looking a little slow. Comes to Aaron behind the net. He backhands it up to Carter. Tries to clear the zone, but is unable to. And there comes Aaron. Got to be careful there, leaving his feet to deliver a hit. But he goes down himself. Now Nolan Pazil's got the puck. He moves away from pressure. Tries to go back to pressure. And finds his D partner, Aaron, there. Comes up to the hash on the left, where 50 keeps it in for Wyoming. They have men in front, and oh boy, 12 had all kinds of time there. He saw, shot short. Kyle took care of that. It was a check from Roy, a check from Nolan, but really not too much effect. 11, 12 has the puck. Centering attempt is clear wide. There's a shot from the top of the circle that's deflected wide. Bears have to be careful now with useless physicality. Here's a puck cleared up the center, and it's not going to be icing. As Carter's ahead, it is going to be icing. I thought that was waved off after the deflection, which appeared to me to come off the Wyoming play, but it's going to be an icing on the Bears, and we're back down for a face-off to the right of Colin. Give me something to talk about. Tommy, thank you, bro. 
draw. Wins it back. Puck rolls to the front of the Bears' net somehow, like a magnet out there. And there's Roy, picks it up, sends it to Tommy. Tommy makes a nice move to center race, and he's got Carter on the left wing. He sends it to Carter on the switch. Carter moves to the slot. Oh, my. But it's a slow developing play, and off go Wyoming the other way. 11, and he's been quite effective. He's sent into the corner. Back comes Carter. Now, this time, he's got Tommy on the, on the right. Carter lugs it himself into the zone, sends a shot wide of the mark. Roy is up there to pick up the puck into the corner. Tommy picks it up, makes a nice move to come out from the corner. He sends it across to Carter and the puck, they don't quite connect. That would have been a good scoring chance right there. Carter now turns, backs, backhands it behind, and there's no one there to retrieve it. Roy is in to help, comes to the point. Shot coming from Quinn, it's deflected, cleared behind the net by the winding goaltender. Roy Lou is quite active. Carter in front. The pass attempt is deflected behind the net. Tommy's in the corner. Delivers a check. But, the, but uh, Wyoming comes away with the puck. And here they enter the zone. It's 16 back to 11. That's set towards through the slot. Doesn't really connect there. 16. That could have been a high stick. Nice job by Kyle to keep this game in sight. And while well, Larry and Mark admired the goaltending, the Bears going a full turn. And with 4.21 remaining, there was work to do. All right, Phil's on the ice. Takes the draw. The puck comes again to the front of the Bears' net. It's taken to the safety of behind the net by Justin, but he's taken off the puck by 11. He sends it to his D partner, Aaron, sends it ahead now, and that's a pretty good breakout. Very nice breakout, I'd say, after all. The Bears have three men up. Phil has got an issue with the mouth guard, and he's actually gonna get a call as a result. Is that, the, is that really right? I think it is. Yeah. So the call is against Phil. I believe this is a mouth guard violation. It's been like... So... I can't done until the play, until the call is announced, I can't be sure what it is, but it appeared to me that the ref was responding to uh, Phil's mouth guard popping out. And that has happened a few times in this game, and I, I believe that's the discussion that's happening here at the Bears bench. So, shorthanded and four minutes remaining, let's say four minutes and three seconds, giving the benefit of all the time on the clock. Bears need something to happen with a three goal deficit. Tommy's out to take the draw. So what is it actually? It looks like it is actually a misconduct rather than a penalty because the Bears are not short -handed. So that would make sense for the mouth guard. Yeah, it's a misconduct for a mouth guard violation, but the, uh, but the Bears are full strength. Aaron McGlynn takes the puck behind the net. Tommy's in front in the slot. She tries to get the puck but can't. Con Carter's up there, sends the puck back to Aaron in the corner. It's a good little cycle going now for the Bears. And Wyoming, Carter still gets it, gets it to Tommy, he holds it in, gets to the front, tries to get it to Aaron, goes through her though, and Wyoming is gonna head up towards the blue line. Tommy tries to hold it in, Aaron tries to hold it in, like he got to at this point, but now 50 is in by himself, and Kyle comes up with a huge save, and on the rebound, the puck is still loose, Aaron comes away with it, stick handles, and Tries to get it to Tommy, actually. 13 still has a puck in the zone. Goes to the corner. 3.09 remaining. He's got his teammate in front. Saved from a sharp angle by Kyle. And Aaron's away now. Up to Nolan, who finds Carter. A nice pass. Nice vision by Nolan. Carter has got Milo wide open. 